This is a video to um, show you how to take apart a Vivitar 283 flash um, to remove the Fresnel lens at the front. Um, this is to make it into a full spectrum flash. This um, lens, I don't know if you can see in the video, it's got a bit of a yellow tint to it and that blocks UV light which makes it no good if you want to do some ultraviolet photography. Um, so what we need to do is to remove this and replace it with some clear plastic. Um, so first of all we need to take some screws out. So there's two screws here. Um, they can be a bit stiff to start off with because I think probably they've put a bit of glue on them when they put them in at the factory. It's just a case of undoing both of these. Now the next thing we want to do is up here in there and here, there's two more screws that we need to undo. Right, the next thing is this silver disc here has got a clip underneath it that's holding the flash together. So I need to try and leave it up. I think I might use my pen knife for this actually. Oops. Now there we go. This one's stuck down a lot better than any of the other ones I've done. Uh, you can see there's a clip here that's holding the two halves of the flash together. So, just need to pop that off. There we go. And now, we can remove that. slide that out and now we need to try and remove this from the casing this is probably going to take a while so I'll just pause the video here right so I've been struggling with this for a bit and I've got it off these two hooks at the end here and you can see it just comes off like that and now you can see the um, bare flash tube in there. What we want to do is we want to have a piece of clear plastic on the front of the flash that will protect the bare flash tube so um, it won't get damaged when you put your flash in your bag or whatever. Um, right, so To create the piece of clear plastic, I just take the um, Fresnel lens, put it on a the front of a CD case, and then um, basically cut round it. So I've got a craft knife here and a metal ruler. Let's just move that flash out of the way. and just score down 
with the craft knife. And I'm leaving a bit of a gap on either side because it's better to have a bit of plastic that's slightly too big that you can sand down than it is to have one that's slightly too small and you need to make an entire new one. So I've just got the two score marks in here and now it's just a case of continually scoring along these lines until it eventually cuts through the plastic and that is probably going to take quite a while so it's going to pause the video here right so just about finished cutting through this now just a little bit more to do along here Go then. There's a um, piece of plastic to replace the lens. Let's get that cleaned off a little bit. Now what we want to do is to place this between the um, reflector here and these slots here. So it's a little big there so I'm just going to have to sand that down for a bit. So again, I'll just pause the video while I'm standing because it might take a while. But it's just a case of um, sanding it down until you've got the right fit. Um, one thing to note is, you can see here, it's um, slightly smaller. The casing is slightly smaller at the bottom and the top than it is at the sides, so you'll want this to be slightly rounded at the edge, at either edge, so it's just a case of um, keep sanding it down, drying it, if it's um, still too big sand it down a little bit more and then try it again. So I'll just pause the video here while I do that. Right, so I've cut out and um, sanded down the piece of CD plastic to the right size to fit in the flash and um, now it's a case of putting it back together. So what we want to do is get the piece of plastic and insert it into the flash like that and then we've got the top bit here and um, you need to pay attention there's two there's a slot there and a slot there on either side and they need to slot down over this circuit board so we need to make sure that we get them aligned properly. That's that. So that's the new plastic we've got in there. Um, just want to straighten that out a little bit if I can. I had a bit of trouble getting the reflective bit that contains the flash tube to line up properly with the um, plastic front cover on this one. So I'm just going to use a bit of sellotape. Right, 
Well, it's still not quite perfect, but it's good enough, I think. Oh, yes, I did forget something. Cheers. On here, there's um, a little white bit that makes the click stops work for when you're rotating the flash head, so I'm going to put that back. These screws in. Let's put this metal clip back on. It just pushes in. Um, the metal disc that covers that up, I just covered the, scraped most of the um, dry glue off it. And I've covered the back in um, double sided sticky tape. And it's just a case of pushing it back in place. It should be okay I think. And that's it. Let's turn that on to M. So now you can see hopefully got the um that's the old Fresnel lens compared to the new clear one. That um this lens is very good at blocking UV light when I took a photo with this in front of one then it was black and without it then it puts out a reasonable amount of light although I find that um, it's still not very much really and um, I need several of these really to get a reasonable exposure for a ultraviolet photo so that's how you can um, turn your Vivitar 283 into a full spectrum flash the other thing I would mention is if you're undoing it, there's a couple of other mods that you can do. Um, you need to go a bit further to um, modify the circuit board for one, which is converting it into a um, safe voltage to work with digital cameras. And another one you can do is removing the auto thyristor on the front here and replacing it with a potentiometer so you can adjust the power manually. But um, for ultraviolet photography, which is what I'm using these for, then I always need them on full power anyway, so I haven't done that yet.